Today's video is brought to you by Squarespace. If you need a website, head over to squarespace.com slash Paul Messner. So we're back up in the Lake District again. Very moody and atmospheric. Andy needs to bag a couple more Wayne Wrights and he's invited me along for today's camp. So we're heading up there. It's not a big walk, but it's steep. That's a steep bit. So Andy's just setting his camera up for one of them walk by things. There's no way that I'm coming back down for, <laughs> for the camera. Uh, so if you want to see that, you'll have to watch his video. That's why Andy's videos are better. He puts the extra effort in. And that is the backdrop you're going to see. So we're almost at the top already. It's only about 15, 20 minutes from there and the views are starting to open up lovely. Wow. Gorgeous. It's a nice little ridge, isn't it? Hey, camping spot. We might be coming back here later. The clouds coming in again. Story of my life lately, that. That's more like it, look. We might get a bit of a view later. So Andy's just bagged Wainwright 191. I don't know if it's something that I'll ever get round to challenging myself with. Let me know in the comments if, if you're into the Wainwrights and how many you've done. So according to the forecast, we've got some cloud and 20 kilometre per hour gusts. Wrong again. So at the weekend I was in the Scarp 1 tent. I bought the Southern Cross 1 tent so be a good test for that though. Um, Andy's just going to bag this uh, second way right and then we'll, um, we'll go and find somewhere to pitch up and I'll show you around. Just double checking that this ground's going to take a stake or a peg as you call it in the UK. So for a little bit of extra security I've clicked the tent onto my rucksack. No, 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 no. Just uh, had a little accident. <laughs> Pulled the poles out and it's for my scarp one. I knew I'd packed them, but I did panic for a little bit. Hold hands don't make it any easier, does it? So I couldn't get that stake in great, so uh, I've doubled it up. I think that's getting my gear out of the rain. Get out of this rain for a bit. 
a bit cosier in here than it is in the, the scarf, isn't it? I brought this today. It is a Highlander reflective camping mat. I get quite a lot of people asking me about how they can make their sleeping pads warmer. Well, one of these um, will definitely help. And they only cost about a tenner, so I thought I'd show you this instead of the foam mat that I've been using. First job to soak up a bit of this water. Still raining and the wind's howling a little bit now. I'm only laid on this little foil pad so plenty warm enough at the minute. Taking off all my wet clothes and I've just put my waterproofs on at the moment. Um, I don't want to put my long johns on. I'll save them for bedtime. So later on I'm gonna be cooking up some sweet chili king prawns with linguine. Ah, this is my fridge. So I've just got a thermos flask. These prawns have been in there probably about seven hours, seven hours, something like that. And it's still frozen. So if you want to know how to bring meat or fish, get yourself a thermos flask. Definitely easier in a bigger tent. <laughs> We've done it though. It seems to have calmed down a little bit outside. So I might go for a wonder. It's not quite as bad now. Still a bit windy like. So just taking a few photographs, how to play with the night photo mode. You gotta get your stuff for Instagram, aren't you? Starting to clear a little bit though. You can actually see a few stars. Time to warm up again. Right, it's time for sweet and sour king prawn with linguine. Um, but while I get the jet ball set up, a quick thanks to Squarespace for sponsoring the video today. So Squarespace make it really easy to set up a website of your own. So even if you've never done anything like that before, um, they've got some ready-made templates that you can tweak a little bit to get that unique look of your own. You just add the content, any photos and text, and then just tweak it to get that perfect look. So I use Squarespace to share my videos, sell a few, t-shirts and hoodies and things like that but whatever you need a website for if you're a blogger a photographer or you want to set up a shop of your own then Squarespace is the place to go so if you want to have a go at setting up a website of your own head over to squarespace.com slash Paul Messner you'll get 10% off and a free trial so what do you think of a little flat pack um, pasta jar go bought these for the van She'll let me steal one for a bit. So this was the first meal that Joe ever cooked for me. I've never cooked in a jet boil though, so I don't know if it'll work all right. I've had to open the door for a bit. It was getting quite steamy in here. Right there yet. Just lifting the lid up settles them bubbles down.
another couple of minutes I think. So at this point, I'm going to drop the prawns into the hot water. These are still frozen. Bring that back up to the simmer again. So any moisture from the steam, I'm just wiping it off with this um, spongy cloth. That's done. Right, I'm just gonna clip this lid on. And just drain off the excess water. I've got past the king prawns and then just going to dribble on some sweet chilli sauce. The food will warm it up a little bit. Give it a good stir. A bit more sauce methinks. Yeah, that's better than one of them meals out of a bag, isn't it? Bon appetit. That is perfect camping food. And these little thermos food canisters, I mean, you can bring fresh meat and fish to make sure it's really chilled when you put it in there. It'll stay cold all day. Well, I've got nowhere to go. I could tell you a little bit about what I think of this tent. So if you don't know already, this is the Terra Nova Southern Cross 1. This vestibule area is huge. Loads and loads of space for all your gear. Plenty of room for cooking. Uh, I do love the, the look of the tent and the shape of it. It is very robust. Uh, so I've had it in a few windy conditions and it holds up really well. Um, however, um, I don't think that it's going to be my go-to tent this winter. Um, so far I've been, what time is it? Um, I've been cooped up in here for four hours. And when you've got the door shut, you ain't got a lot of space inside. So the, the vestibule's massive, but the actual inner bit is um, it's mainly just a sleeping compartment. So um, if you want to be editing your videos or um, reading a book or anything like that, there's not a huge amount of room in here. So it's perfect for um, you know the, the long days when you're just sat out enjoying the, the weather. Um, or the, the views etc and then just get in your tent and go to bed but when it's dark at half past four four o'clock and you've got to be spending 16 hours in your tent um, then I, I want something that's got a little bit more space than this so as you can see it's basically just got the width of my sleeping pad um, which is enough but um, you know you can't do many tasks inside the tent Headroom's okay for me. I am touching the, the top a little bit, but um, I can manage. But you know, the the Scarp One or the Hilleberg Solo's got more headroom as well, so um, I'm going to be choosing those over this when it comes to yeah for me winter camping anyway. So this tent's really easy to set up, and the two-man version. Um, let me know if you've got one. Um, might be might be the perfect compromise. So I do like that the tent's completely freestanding, so you know, if I'd picked a spot that wasn't um, perfectly flat, I could have just picked it up um, and moved it somewhere else, but obviously I wouldn't try that in the wind that we had earlier. One other thing I don't like is these things are for clipping onto the pole structure for holding your door open. I'd rather be able to roll it up a little bit like that with some kind of toggle on it and then hold the door back that way. Yeah, so for longer days, this tent's great, but if you're going to be cooped up inside it, 
for long periods of time get something with a bit more room now GoPro's not wounded <laughs> I've just done my best to make it waterproof for the night and set away a time lapse I'll give you a look even if it's rubbish there we go battery packs in there should run all night Bit better this morning, isn't it? Still a bit of cloud around, but <laughs> that wind's dropped off to nothing. Probably a bit harsh on this tent last night because it's stood up really well. Didn't move in the wind, although it was nothing, you know, too treacherous. Shout out to Russ Morehouse who's on cat bells over there. So he's on a mission to camp or bivy on every one of the Wainwrights. And he flashed his light to us last night, so thought we'd say hello. It's a lovely spot. Although the tent has been crawling in these little worms. Not a fan of those. Put the kettle on while I start packing my gear away. Grass and all sorts in here. All adds to the flavour. Playing chicken again, look. It's one of the best coffees I've had in a long time. It's been enriched with some of the finest beans and sweet chilli king prawns. This is a doddle when there's no wind. Seems like I'm a morning man lately because <laughs> every morning when I wake up the views are stunning but when I pitch up you know the weather's a bit on the rougher side. I might drag my solo out next time. Let me know in the comments if you want to see that or if you want to see the scarp in action again. If you've been looking at the Southern Cross really good tent very robust and the you know, the vestibule area, like I said, is massive. But they could do with just cutting that down a little bit just to give you that little bit more uh, internal space. And then it would be perfect. Apart from where you have to clip the door on here. But a closed peg sorts that out. Look at that for a beam of light. Okay, so we've got everything packed up. Um, just that short walk back down there to the car. If you want to see a really funny video where I took Joe camping and she had to hike up there, she wasn't too pleased. Then click this video here on the left. But that's it for this one. I'll leave you with a view. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.